Winston-Salem State University Homecoming 2016 is better than ever. Enjoy the gospel performance featuring Grammy and stellar award-winning artist Richard Smallwood. The with opening acts Brandon Gaines and the WSSU Singing Rams. Be sure to visit the Vendor Fair with food trucks, a kid zone, and fantastic merchandise. Then plan to attend the Rams Saturday Night Live Party featuring DJ T-Love from 97.1 QMG. This is the world-famous DJ T-Love, and I get the party started. Find out more at wssu.edu slash homecoming. teams had to go through it. I mean, of course, like, you know, it rained the night before and stuff like that, but, I mean, I feel that, like, everybody had, you know, decent footing and stuff like that, and, and equal footing, so, I mean, I don't feel like it affected us as much. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, you know. You got to watch your foot, you know, you got to change up your footwork and stuff like that a little bit, but, I mean, overall, though, I mean, it's fun playing out there in the trenches. I mean, uh, as an interior offensive lineman, I mean, I prefer running the ball. So, I mean, if, if we can, if we can like run the ball every play, I mean, I like it. I mean, if we can pass, if we have to pass, you know, I pass protect too. But I mean, I love run blocking. I don't know, man. You just go out there and play, man. The game just come to you naturally. I always say a distraction is only a distraction if you let it be one. So it's all about it's all about the mindset. It just come with the game, you know. You never really get tired of getting hit. That's why you wake up every day and keep going, keep going to practice. You just keep getting hit. You never really get tired of it. I mean, it hurts sometimes, but you know that's part of the game. So the same message we deliver every year. Homecoming is not for us. It's for the alumni base. It's for the students. We don't take part in that. You know, we got a game to prepare for. Uh, passing game, it's uh, very similar to our passing game. Um, coach Ma being a former coach here, um, working under Coach Edder for so long, uh, dealing with Coach Edder and Coach Maynard's system. Uh, it's the same system he's implemented there. Um, so it's gonna, it presents some challenges for us, but at the same time, it's almost like practice against ourselves, uh, except for you got a lot more at stake. It's a football game versus practice. Um, different uniforms. And again, it's more at stake. You know, it's not just practice. Practice, you can blow the whistle and, and, and do over. Uh, come game time, you know, one mistake, you know, it could be all she wrote. So uh, we have to play a good 60-minute football game. Um, I know they'll be prepared and ready. Uh, but it, you know, I talked to Coach Myers late as last night. Um, you know, it wasn't anything about the game. You know, we're just good friends. So, you know, we talk quite often. But, uh, 
it'll be a competitive football game coming Saturday. Well, it's interesting that you talk about adverse uh, adversity. That's uh, that's the phrase of the year for our guys because adversity will make you better. So uh, you know, we learn some lessons every week, and I'd much rather learn those lessons after a winning performance than after a loss. Um, but if you look at this year's progress compared to where we were at this time last year. It was, was flip-flop. Same numbers, just different order. Uh, last year we were 2-4 and four at this point in time, but uh, right now we're 4-2. and two. So, uh, you know, we're making some progress. You know, our, our aim every week is to get better. Uh, but more so than that, you know, we're still focusing on ourselves. So we'll, but by the end of the week, we'll know more about each other just a little bit better than we did at the top of the week. Um, as far as uh, our opponent is concerned, St. O. We'll focus on St. Alba again. We'll, we'll tend to focus more on ourselves and getting to know each other a little bit better and having fun because we're going to practice a lot more this week versus each other than we will for the 60 minutes that we'll play on Saturday. Uh, it, it'd be hard to avoid all the traffic and, and the different festivities going on around campus. You know, the, the heart of campus is going to be full of vendors and everybody else throughout the week. Um, you're going to have step shows. You're going to have parties. You're going to have some of everything. But uh, I feel very confident that our coaches will have our guys in position ready to play. Um, and again, we deliver that message at the top of the week. You know, it's not for us, it's for the fans. We'll celebrate homecoming after the game, um, all but a couple of minutes before we start getting ready for next week's football game. Hey, everybody has goals and aspirations as a player to play on Sundays. So we had an opportunity to do that. Um, but, you know, as far as it's been our next football game, I think our guys in position, they love to compete. You know, they'll play every day if they had to. As long as you can minimize the injuries and um, you know get a set of officials, we're, we're ready to play. So you know, regardless of how many days you have of preparation, you know it's the same thing. If you're focusing more on yourselves than you are your opponent, then you know, it doesn't take that long to turn around and say, hey, you know it's on to the next game. And moving on to that next game brings up another goal for us, which is to win our next football game. So the goal is not going to change. So uh, you know we'll be ready for this game as we can. Actually, 44, but uh, you know it, it wasn't a con it wasn't a big concern. Um, you know our goal getting off that bus all the way up until the uh, pregame speech was to win our football game. I didn't give any instructions on hey this is how many points we need to score, this is how many points we should score. The goal was to win the football game, and uh, we came out of there with a win. You know hats off to Coach Blunt and his staff. I mean they, they were, those guys were ready to play. If there's one thing it says about Coach Blunt, he has not forgotten how to coach a football game. Uh, he had his guys ready to play. Field conditions were the same for both post-hurricane. Um, you know, the running game was still intact for us. The offensive line is still building that chemistry, uh, opening up the holes for those, you know, the whole host of running backs that we do have. Um, defensively, you know, we started off pretty good. Gave up a couple deep balls late, um, but that's part of the game. But, uh, you know, it wasn't a, a shock or surprise that the game ended the way that it did. Um, you know, we anticipated a good football game. And our guys knew at some point in time we were going to face some adversity. And when that adversity hit, we responded and we ended up winning the football game. Uh, that's a, I think that's an achievable goal. But there's a, we got four hurdles to jump in order to achieve that goal. So you know, if you stumble hit one of those blocks, you know, if it feels severe enough, you might not be able to finish that race. So um, you know, the mission this week is to win this football game. We achieve that goal and we win the next football game. We achieve that goal and win the next two football games. We would have achieved at least uh, the first part of our goal, which was to win the division, which allows us to go back to uh, the CIAA championship for another year.